Hello everyone, this is Jeremy McClellan, and I'm here at our nation's capital and outdoor Freemason Museum, Washington, D.C., for the March for Life, the largest pro-life gathering in the world. Every year, hundreds of thousands of anti-abortion activists from all across the country come here via plane, bus, and Vatican Tunnel, all to send a loud message of support for the smallest, weakest, and most vulnerable among us, Ben Shapiro. It's an entire week full of events, speeches, and meetups, all culminating in a bloody street battle with the Women's March, while the Knights of Columbus storm the Capitol and restore the monarchy while the government is shut down. And despite the stereotypes, it's not just the unborn that everyone is here to support, it's also the sick and elderly, who deserve the dignity of retiring and living out the rest of their natural lives in peace, especially Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And yes, despite the ideological diversity within the pro-life movement, abortion today remains largely a partisan issue. Democrats argue that banning abortion would endanger women's lives, violate the right to privacy, and send everyone who works at Planned Parenthood to prison. Although, to be fair, we don't like to use the word prison. It's more of a clump of cells. Of course, everyone here has their own personal reason for being pro-life, including me. A lot of people don't know this, but when my grandmother was pregnant with my dad, she was told to have an abortion. I will always be thankful that she chose life, because if she hadn't, I would have grown up without a father. And while this is not a religious event per se, Catholics who attend the march are in for a special treat, as Pope Francis has granted a plenary indulgence for everyone who attends, which allows us to skip purgatory, although I'm pretty sure we're already there. Of course, the regular conditions for indulgences still apply. Uh, confession, mass, and sharing this video on social media, which I would really appreciate because after everyone finds out I'm here, my career is probably going to be over before it's fully developed. From Washington, D.C., I'm Jeremy McClellan. Thank you for listening.